Yeah, what else have you got here, bud? I see some okay, bogey we, wheels. And, we've got go ahead. many items here. I, this, these are a lot of the parts I buy uh, in parts lots trying to get uh, parts for the sleds I'm restoring. And sometimes you buy s some parts, uh, you know, and I look for the Snowjet Kawasaki stuff, Yamaha engines. But a lot of odd stuff can come in. And a lot of this is what I've, you know, trying to, I can't use it, so anybody else can, you know, I'm willing to sell it and hope. Hope support my snowmobile habit. Yeah, for sure. We have a lot of different stuff here, ranging from the bogey wheels. I'm not even sure what they fit. Uh, that'd be something that the individual would have to know. Get a close-up uh, on it. Yeah, go ahead. Yep, there are clutch parts. Most of this is skidoo clutches. There's all kinds of miscellaneous gaskets, clutch parts, some cleats for, I believe, Arctic Cat, two-thirds cleat. Um, starters, pull springs, throttle and brake levers, uh, coolant hose for I don't know what, it's a side decal for a liquefier snowmobile, some rear view mirrors, Comet clutch parts, again if anybody knows what they fit, um, you know, we've got a few things, pistons for Yamaha snowmobiles, uh, these are Polaris ignition coils. They're the pulsar coils and the lighting coils that go in the old um, Polaris engines. And uh, here's a Woolwood hydraulic brake for an Arctic Cat. Um, and as we move down, we get into the, some of the snow jet parts that I don't need. There's a chain case, front drive shaft, track clips, bushings, some suspension parts. These are a trim piece for the side of uh, Snowjet SST and Starjet models. Um, steering, tie rods, um, speedometer cables, some miscellaneous intake tubes. Some of these fit the 72 Thunderjets and a few other models that use the intake tubes. This piece is for a 73 Thunderjet. It's what they call the sump tank. It mounted down low behind the engine and what it was used for is when uh, the pump would draw off of this and the fuel would run down into this tank from the fuel tank and what it did was allow it to keep running on the oval track so that when you're turning the corner the fuel pickup wouldn't come out of the fuel and starve the engine. This thing typically stayed full of fuel so you would never lean out and burn the engine. We have a few uh, other miscellaneous parts. These are a chain case maintenance cover that goes on the Thunderjet chain cases. The intake cover. This is a reproduction piece made by a gentleman out in uh, New York that I know. Uh, there was a call for these for the early snow jets, the 60s era into early 70s. Um, these plastic parts break or get lost. Um, so, you know, a lot of the collectors need to replace them. There's an exhaust and seat pan for Kawasaki snowmobiles. Uh, we have a couple of used helmets here. Still good, you know, usable. Uh, we have a set of Arctic Cat bibs. Sm uh, woman small. And then over here, we have a collection of new old stock decals for late uh, 70s, early 80s Kawasaki sleds a few different models and uh, in this box we have an LTD Kawasaki LTD piston fits the 81 and 82 LTDs and last but not least I have a snow jet jacket <laughs> over here that I've got for sale nice I remember those so, good it's in pretty decent shape it could use a little bit of attention um, the zipper is coming a little loose could be restitched um, but in overall it, it's in, in pretty good shape for a collector that either to wear or just use it as a display for a you know a show or something for a man cave a nice, nice memorabilia piece but i have a few of them and i don't need them all yeah and now you get a couple of tracks here too i think right yes. one of the tracks is for the, the, this one that's bundled up is a new old stock track it fits the 73 to 75 snow jet whisper jet and this one over here belongs to Tom, and I know it's an Arctic Cat, but I don't know what model it fits. Gotcha. 
And if someone is interested in any of these items, what's a good way to get a hold of you? I will give you a card to take a picture of, and my info and is on this along with good, my, yeah. my email address. Get a good number. focus on there. There we go. I got a good shot on that. Just hold that for a minute. This is how you could get a hold of me if you're interested in anything. 603-496-5452. Correct. Outstanding. Well, thank yep. you, bud. I and appreciate I, uh, it. I buy and sell snow jet parts. Always looking for parts lots for snow jet or Kawasaki. If anybody's got anything for sale, and if you need something, give me a call, and maybe I can help you out. Outstanding. Thank you very much. Thank you.